Hi guys, uh, this is Mr. Richard. In this video, we are going to work with um, MIP 2601. Just as I've said in our previous video last week, we did uh, look at uh, the, intro the introduction of trigonometric ratios. Right now, we are going to work with um, application. Yes, today's video is about application. If you are new to this video, uh, I mean, if you are new to this channel, what are you waiting for? Let's do the right thing. Let's subscribe. You only subscribe once. Thank you. Thank you for those who have subscribed. We are growing. We really appreciate that. And um, let's keep winning as we are preparing for our examination that, that will be written between October and November. Right. Uh, without wasting time, let's get to today's video. We are, let's say it's a tree, right? Consider how tall is this tree. Let's consider that how tall, let's say it's a tree, this thing. All right, it forms a right triangle there. As we can see, it's a tree. How tall is the tree? How tall is the tree? Okay. How tall is the tree? So we need to uh, to find out how tall is the tree. So basically, we are calculating calculate actually, actually we are calculating the side. We are calculating um, BC in this case. So let's look at the second problem. The second problem uh, we can see that there's a missing angle of x. So in other words, calculate x degrees. Calculate x x degrees. So this is what we are looking. Um, we are looking for let's put this into practice right let's put this into practice okay uh it is very important to have your calculator calculator consider you're having um a kg fx uh 82 z a plus right uh, actually, actually this calculator it's best when you're working with this right i'll show you how to you, you can apply this right okay we are looking for actually how tall is the tree so you're looking we're calculating bc but we need to determine which trigonometric ratio we are going to use. So we're having um, um, a terminal angle there, which is 45. This is our theta. So let's say you're standing here. Your opposite side will be BC in this case. And you're having what? The longest side, which is called the hypotenuse. Right. So in, the, in this case, you're having opposite and uh, opposite all over hypotenuse is what we call. It's what we call. Uh, yes. Um. We are actually looking at uh, this BC. So, as I've said, it's opposite all over hypotenuse. So, it will be, in other words, we're having sine 45. Remember that opposite all over hypotenuse is sine. So, what can help you to remember the trigonometric ratios? It's what you call SOCATO. SOCATO. Um, sine S, which is sine, opposite all over hypotenuse. CA, then uh, cos AJ, sine all over hypotenuse, tan opposite all over adjacent so we're having sine 45 so in which it's opposite all over hypotenuse what is our opposite side is the one that we're looking for which is bc uh, divided by uh, the hypotenuse side which is ac the longest side so we're having uh sine in other words we're having sine 45 degrees which is equals to bc which is this is bc so what is our age? Our age is 20 hypotenuse. Then we'll multiply by 20 because we need to make BC the subject. Multiply by 20. So in this case, 20 and 20 will cancel. So another way to having BC, which is equals to 20, multiply by sine 45. Let's consider that you are supposed to leave your answer in two DC places. What will be your answer? Take your calculator, punch sine 45. Oh. It's 20, don't forget, 20, sine 45, okay? What is that? We are having 10 root 2, so let's leave it in two decimal places, but, but you will press SD. So in two decimal places, uh, it's going to be 14, 14 uh, units. We don't know, maybe it's given in meters or whatever, but in this case, um, let's say it's meter. We will have um, 14 comma 14 14 comma 14 meter as um this is the this is how tall the tree is in this case okay hope you have gained vi uh, valuable knowledge then 
or a valuable lesson on how to calculate a site when there's a missing site remember that we use our trigonometric ratio so our third our second video our second uh, question is to calculate uh, x degree how do we get x degree let's look let's say it's you here you're standing here then your opposite side will be this then this will be your adjacent side this is where these two lines meet at the vertex here at this corner side so where they, at this point where they meet this this side we call it an adjacent so when you have opposite and adjacent it reminds you what opposite and adjacent it's what you call a tangent a tan so we are going to say tan tan what tan x degree okay tan x degree which is equals to um, adjacent all over hypotenuse tan x degree which is equals to, um, let's say, adjacent is 400. So it's opposite. Actually, it's suppo uh, I'm, I'm wrong. It's supposed to be opposite all over adjacent. Opposite all over adjacent. So our opposite side is 300. Then our adjacent is 400. So we need to make x degrees the, 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 the subject. So we are going to say x degrees is equals to second function of tan. So we are going to say 300 all over 400. Okay. So how do you do this in, in, a, in a calculator? Consider this. Just say shift. Then you press the button turn. So you can see this is the second function. So what are you going to do? You're going to say 300 mm -hmm, divided by uh, 400 divided by 400. Actually, questions like this appeared last year uh, in your final examination for those of you who who who, who practice using the past papers you will see that such questions they are there in MIP 2601 right so this is how you are going to, to 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 punch this in a calculator just say shift then second function so in other words if we were to get this in in two decimal places or in one decimal places what are we going to do let's just say um, shift mode setup then press six then what well, after that you are going to press let's say it's we needed to eat in one decimal place that will be 36 comma 9 degrees degrees so this is our our angle here this is our terminal angle in this case all right, uh, let's consider the last one. Let's say the last one, I want us to apply a, what we call a theorem of Pythagoras. Okay, let's say we're having A, B, C. And here it's 90 degrees. Even here, guys. Sorry if I didn't put the right triangle. Okay. So here, let's consider you're having here as uh, four centimeter and here you're having as maybe five centimeter it's just a question that comes to my mind and there's a missing side here when you have two sides you can you can also let's say they, they were looking for the, the length of ac they wanted you to calculate the length of ab in this case for you to calculate the length of ab you are going to use a theorem of pythagoras remember when you have two sides uh, and, and they're working with the right triangle you can use a theorem of pythagoras so it's going to be r squared so it goes to x squared plus y squared. So our r squared is ab, it's denoted by ab squared. Our adjacent side will be um, 4 centimeter, so it will be ac squared. Our opposite side will be bc, so it's going to be bc squared. So our ac is going to be 4 squared plus uh, bc squared is going to be 5 squared. So what is 4 squared is going to be 16 this will be 25 so let's see what is 16 plus 25 that will be 41 so we are going to have 41 as a b squared so as we know that 41 is not a perfect square so it, it, it won't have um, a square root so what is the square root of 41 it's the root 41 so in this case we will leave it as positive root 41 because the distance cannot be um, in set form, it will be like this. So let's see in in decimals. Just say press your button there. In decimals, we we are going to have six comma 
four um, centimeter if it was a centimeter so this this will be the side right it will be six comma four right which is the longest side hope you find this video useful and don't forget to subscribe and like um we love you